Hi YouTube, what is up? So today is the drive of shame. So I'm heading back to the mountain today to go and sort of assess my bike and see what kind of condition it's in. Uh, I've got my paddock stand in the back there and a bunch of tools. So I'm going to see if I can make it rideable, see what kind of state it's in. Uh, I totally can't remember what condition it's in because as soon as I crashed, uh, the first thing I did was stand up and realize I'd done something to myself then turn the engine off and uh, basically just walked down the hill to a bit of a shaded area, sat down, had a smoke and then just started touching my body to figure out what I'd, what I'd broken. So I totally don't remember the bike, it was just left lying on the, on the ground when I, um, when I got a, a ride down to the kind of the station at the bottom of the uh, mountain. Then I just waited there for the ambulance. So my mate Adam and a, a, a passerby picked the bike up and moved it into a layby, and uh, that's the last I saw of it. So I don't know if it's going to be rideable or not. But I think the clutch lever will be gone, and probably the shifter will be gone too. But I'm going to go and see if I can bodge something up today to try and make it rideable tomorrow. And then um, Adam's going to come back with me tomorrow and hopefully ride it back for me. But kind of shitty news is I had a phone call from the, the people that run the road and they said um, they put a blue sheet on it last night to protect it from rain and bird shit and whatnot but they said when they put the sheet on it it smelled like uh, leaking gas so maybe I've cracked the fuel tank or something I'm not sure so I'm gonna head over to the mountain now and uh, hopefully fix the bike but I've got a bit of a probably like an hour's drive in a car it takes about 30 minutes on a bike <laughs> So nice and safe drive today as I've got one arm and uh, yeah, had a few painkillers so I better be really careful. So. Alright, so I'll see you when I get to the mountain. Ciao! ごめんなさい。Right, <laughs> at least they didn't ask me to pay. <laughs> I was actually thinking, oh my god, they're gonna ask me to pay. <laughs> Alright, let's get up this kick ass mountain road and uh, check out the bike. Okay, so I just started up the engine, just letting it idle for a bit to make sure there's no uh, no fuel leaks because it does smell of fuel. A bit of oil leak in here, but that's probably just because the bike is on its side. But the petrol hose is on these like quick release adapters. Uh, I can't see anything leaking. No oil on the ground here, there's no um, petrol leaking. Anyway, while we're here, anyway, turn it off. Well, I'm here, I might as well show you the corner as long as I don't get run over by this car. So this is the corner that I came into at like 60 kilometers an hour, something like that. About 40 miles an hour, so not too fast. And then basically I think this black mark here that you can see, I think that is where my tire skidded. Then I went, you can see some scratches in the tarmac here, so I think this one, can you see that? That's where I first touched down and then it kept going up here, up here. Oh, look at that. There's my gear lever. I'll take that home. So I think I finished up here. Maybe I 
broke up this bit of bitumen. And is there any scratches on the guardrail? Oh, there's my uh, sole from my boots. Take that home as well. But I think, yeah, I think basically the bike stopped about there. And then I think I rolled up to about here or something like that. But anyway, um, the bike's not that, that bad to be honest. I was thinking it would be a great excuse to go all Street Fighter on it and whip the headlight off and put a round headlight, take the seat unit off and put like a custom seat on it and stuff like that, but it doesn't actually seem that bad. So let's have a quick look at the seat unit. Don't want to show you my West, my West number plate. <laughs> but yeah, like the, the actual bodywork on the back as well. There's a tiny scratch there and the uh, heat shield is scratched up. But otherwise, it's in good shape, and uh, the swing... Oh, look at that. Oh, the chain adjuster is way cracked. Huh. And my tyre doesn't have any, like, unusual marks on it or anything like that. I think it was just a case of two, just going on the throttle too, too quickly. And that's a bit worrying, though, isn't it? way cracked all the way to the inner bit i wonder if that had anything to do with it so yeah i think um now i'm just going to go they told me to call them once i've sort of looked at the bike and tell tell them what i'm going to do but yeah there's no way i can ride it my arm is freaking hurting like hell so i'll just uh put the sheet back on it and organize something all right guys i'll keep you updated in the next video Goodbye.